Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for the first half of August. We're going to go ahead and pull several messages and see what comes through, what you need to know. Please do keep in mind, Capricorn, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading, so do stick around to the end. Capricorn, if you find my readings helpful to you, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow and I appreciate all your help. All right, we are starting today with the Energy Oracle cards. So we're going to pull some messages and see what's happening for you. Ready? Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. <laughs> the thinking woman. I must say, in this series, for the first half of uh, August, the Thinking Woman came out several times. Wow, and you have Thinking Woman and Thinking Man. So I just uh, feel like it's important to watch Sun, Moon and Rising Sun, if you have time, if you, and if you want to do so. There could be some messages there for you. And we have Six Chakra. And what else? What else is here for Capricorn? This is it. And love. Okay. So we have this. Um, first of all, look at the numbers. Four, 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 four could be very significant for you. This could, that's a number of stability. I just feel like that's a synchronicity. You could be seeing a lot. Four, 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 four during this period of time, this first half of August. And um, let's go ahead and start with this thinking woman. Let's clarify what's going on here. Thinking woman for Capricorn, what are you thinking about? We have Seven of Cups, Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Star, Three of Swords. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, I feel like some of you had enough in the connection that you're in right now, in the romantic connection that you're in right now. It feels to me like um, you've thought this through, you've thought this through uh, many times, you've uh, looked at your options, you looked at, um, you know, what you could do in this relationship here, and you've decided that it was enough. It feels to me like you're walking away from the connection here. Um, this was painful. I do feel that uh, uh, there was some heartbreak here that was happened and uh, you're ready to walk away and to heal from this. Uh, this is a romantic situation. You could have been connected with a, a water sign here, very strong energy of a water sign, but it could have been also an Aquarius. And um, I feel like this was, for some of you, this was an Aquarius that kept his options, his or her options open. So somebody who could have cheated here, somebody who could have, uh, um, you know, wasn't committed to this relationship and wasn't exclusive with this relationship here. I feel like you've thought this through so many times. You've been thinking about the options that you have, how to proceed, how to move forward, and you've decided to walk away, leave this union here, move towards the common shores, leave behind whatever no longer serves you, and heal from the heartbreak that it gave you. This is what I see. It's a very, very clear message here. Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and now clarify this thinking man. What is that about? A lot of mental energies around you at this time. A lot of uh, thinking, a lot of contemplating things, a lot of making choices as well. It feels to me like you're thinking about something fragile, something, a fragile relationship possibly. That's the energy that's coming through, but let's clarify. Yeah. Oof, yeah. Wow. Um, there is something that's happening here in your romantic love life. There is something that is ending. Something that is ending or has ended here. This was a union that had a lot of secrets. There was a, there was a lot of uh, hidden in this union. There was something that there could have been a third party that was hidden here. I have 
uh, I felt this energy here from the first um, pile and I do feel it here as well. So a person could have stepped out on a union, there could have been a third party involved here. They were hiding something from you. There was a lot of secrecy here. There could have been some fears involved in this union as well. I do feel that you've been thinking about this for quite a while. You, you felt how fragile this union is and you are thinking that it's over, it's done. It's uh, time to count your losses and move on. This is the energy that I'm getting from this. You've learned a lot in this union. This union made you stronger. This Whatever you went through here, this heartbreak, this ending here, this breakup, it has made you stronger. There is some wounding that is on you, but you are very strong and you are resilient. It made you more resilient. It made you more persistent. And I feel like it made you uh, understand better what is it that you want in your next relationship. This is what I feel. Okay, let's go ahead and to clarify the sixth chakra. Archangel Methatron is coming in here for you. It would be good for you to meditate, to call on upon Archangel Methatron. If that's something you do or that's the practice you want to explore, please do so. Five of Pentacles. The Devil. Magician, oh, temperance. Look at all this um, magia arcanas. Um, again, there's a lot of mental energies, a lot of headache that is going on here, and I do feel that it still is connected to that uh, relationship of yours where you feel like you were left in the cold. Something that has ended, um, this person could have leave the union. You were left in the cold. You feel like you were left in the cold. Some of you feel betrayed in this union here. I do feel that uh, there are there is a way out and there is a door that is opening up here for you, but you're not necessarily open it to it right now. You're not necessarily looking at this right now. With this devil energy and the magician, these two cards together, I feel like the union that you've been in was quite manipulative. I feel like it, was, it could have been a very toxic relationship. There is a lot of toxicity here. There is fears. There is... Um, uh, of a controlling energy here, something that was kind of luring you in that was very uh, shiny and sparkly, but it wasn't healthy, it wasn't a healthy union here. I feel like you're coming into this energy of opening up your third eye, connecting to your intuition, and it comes with a magician, which is beautiful because that's the energy of manifesting. Energy of temperance is also an energy of alchemizing, alchemizing your future. So the advice here is very clear. The advice here is to connect to your intuition. Like, I, like I've mentioned here, I feel like it would be very important for you to adopt some sort of meditation practice if you don't have one now. You will be getting a lot of spiritual guidance at this time. I feel this very, very strongly. You also have two fives. The only non-major um, arcanas in this particular message for you is five and five. Five brings change. There is change here for you. And whatever change is going to come, that's what you're manifesting. So whatever you think about, you bring about. And we've seen a lot of mental energy going on around. So you do think a lot. Just remember that your thoughts, thoughts become things. Very intuitive energy. Open your third eye. Listen to the guidance here and manifest. Manifest the future. Manifest that balanced, alchemized energy that you want to experience in your future. This is what I see. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this angel of love. It's all about love matters for you from what it seems so far. But let, we'll see what else comes through. The world in reverse, five of wands. Two of swords, oh, four of swords and the tower, wow. Okay, well, this totally makes sense. So Capricorn, what's going on here? You're all about love at this time. There's a lot of happenings that is happening in your romantic love life. There is a lot of energy that goes into your love life. There is, you're thinking about love. You're feeling love. There's a lot of emotions. There is pain here. And um, this cycle is just goes round and round and round and round, round and round and round and round. 
a lot of fights in this union. You're indecisive. You're on the crossroads. Your eyes are closed. You are thinking at night about it. You are staying awake. The matters of the heart, the matters of the heart are so much on your mind. But it feels to me like you are thinking so much about it. But there is this energy of... It's like you're going in circles in some way or there is like potential if you don't take actions, if you don't step out from the circle, if you don't take that step forward, you keep going round and round and round and round. It's time to make a decision. And if you don't, guess what happens? The tower falls down. This is exactly what happens when we don't make a decision. The outside events, the spirit brings something in to transform it for us. This, this union is not strong enough to hold on. This union, we've seen the heartbreak. We've seen the three of swords. We think, uh, see, we've seen the ten of swords. We've seen the ending. It's time to step out of this circle here. It's time to, um, to get detached from this uh, energy that is luring you in, that is trying to keep you attached here. And if you don't do it yourself, it's going to be done for you. <laughs> this is exactly what Tower is. If, when we feel stuck, when we're not moving, the tower comes around and makes it so uncomfortable for us that we have to move forward. There could be some outside events. There could be some shocking revelations. There could be some shocking truth that will come out here that will be that will push you, will push you out of the cycle. And this is for those of you who are in some sort of toxic relationship. I feel like all these messages are connected. I'm talking to the same group of Capricorns and if if the beginning did not resonate with you, then this is also not the message for you. There might be something else that will come up for you later. But I feel that this is for those of you who've been going through this turmoil in your romantic relationship, in a relationship that is toxic, that is karmic, um, with a person that possibly involved third party in this connection here, and you just feel stuck, you feel like you cannot move out, you don't know what choice to make, there will be sudden changes, sudden truth coming out, that will push you out and put you in this energy of self-love as well. You need to put yourself first. What is good for you? Do you feel loved in this union? Do you feel even self-respect in this union? Because I feel like some of you put that in a, a back burner here. And it's time for you to come back to that. Whoa, strong energy for you here. But let's go ahead and uh, move on from this. Let's pull some other messages and see what else comes through. What else do you need to know? Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn messages for Capricorn first half of August. Distance horizon, unexpected income. This person. This player. Wow, okay. Capricorn, be careful uh, when it comes to um quick money making schemes i feel like there could be somebody here who's coming in with some sort of idea that uh, seems to be uh, good at first but there is something about it that is not right it feels to me it's almost like it's too good to be true uh, the person might be hiding something from you they could be hiding some details here you have to be very very careful when you're signing some sort of uh, contracts at this time especially financial contracts and it has this um mm, energy of quick money. So if somebody offering you something, some sort of a, a deal that um, is going to bring or it seem it um, the promise is to bring very very fast finances, be careful with it. I feel like there could be something about it that is not right, that is a little bit false, that might lead you to lose your investment. If somebody wants you to invest in something that feels too good to be true, it is too good to be true. If somebody wants you to invest your money in something that um, is supposed to bring huge rewards in a very short period of time, um, I would not necessarily trust this person at, at first glance. Make sure that you read all the details because there is an energy here of you being concerned about your finances and possibly losing your investment here. So be careful. This could be somehow uh, connected to an international project. This could be like a big project. There could be, um, this could be a project that involves travel. And for some of you, there is also business travel here. In this first half of August, some of you could be traveling or some of you will be traveling for business. But be careful about some new opportunities for investments or business deals that uh, 
there can be uh, quick money making schemes because that will lead to some sort of loss of finances. Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and pull some coffee cup oracles for you. Let's see what else is happening. This is a beautiful deck by Amira Salon. Let's see what's going on for you. What else we can find out for Capricorn? What's going on for Capricorn in the first half of August? This one, this one. Lock and unlock. This one. Jealousy and gossip. Just the top card. And what else? Okay. So it feels to me like... Um, mm, you are, <laughs> you are, there is some reveal here. There is a reveal of truth here. I feel like some of you are unlocking truth about um, the people around you. It feels to me like uh, uh, some people will drop their masks and it's not necessarily something they will do willingly. It's just something that is going to happen. I feel like uh, you will be able to see it uh, people around you for what they truly are and what their true intentions are. I feel like you will understand and realize who are the people who are loyal to you, who are on your side and who actually have some sort of, uh, you know, opportunities for you that are beneficial for you. And those people who are a little false here, who are a little jealous of you and a little jealous of what you have here. I do feel that there is just this energy of uh, truth purity and secrets coming out things coming out here so um, be open to that and uh, be careful just know who you are opening up to as well who you sharing your secrets with as well is going to be important and be very uh, observant i feel like people will reveal themselves to you willingly or unwillingly a uh, male energy could be very significant here there could be a, an, somebody older with the good advice that will be coming towards you. They might be the one who will be revealing some sort of information for you as well. Or, you know, like almost kind of digging up some sort of information for you. These are the messages that are coming through. This is what I've got for you, Capricorn, for the first half of um, August. I hope you found something in this reading that was helpful. And uh, I do hope that this will guide you uh, in a good direction. Thank you for being here today, Capricorn. If you feel like this reading resonated, please do let me know in the comments. And bye for now. Talk to you soon.